Hey, it is Irina, and I wanted to hop on here and dive right into it. So one of the biggest mistakes that I see job seekers often make time and time again is stopping their job search once they either found a company that they are enamored with, um, that they feel is their dream company, or sometimes they go on an interview and they hit it off and they said that it was like the perfect interview, everything went so well and they can't imagine not getting the job and or they've been on multiple rounds of interviews and that offer is coming. And they stop job searching, they stop networking, they stop doing the daily things that I recommend for you to be doing, like applying for jobs, actively networking with decision makers inside of the companies where you really want to work. So the job search comes to a halt once those things happen. And I get it. People get excited. You know, you go to an interview and everything literally like looks like your dream job. And, you know, in the job search, once you find that, after maybe going on a couple of interviews where it wasn't necessarily a good fit, it's easy to give up and stop trying and stop applying because you're hopeful, right? You have your fingers crossed. Um, but the danger in doing that and not continuing your um, responsibilities in terms of looking for that next opportunity, when things come to a stop, the danger in doing so is that you're putting your eggs into one basket. You're not diversifying your job search anymore. You are putting it to a stop and you are putting your you know, a job search in the hands of that company. And what ends up happening oftentimes more so than not is that these companies sometimes will ghost you, send you a rejection, um, a letter or just tell you that they went with another candidate and we go into something that I like to call a job seeking rabbit hole. This is something that you'll hear me say inside of the Get Hired Master Plan, my signature program for job seekers. And you know, you put your eggs in one basket, you get that rejection, and then you go into a spiral thinking that, okay, now, now it's really personal. I really wanted that job. You get your hopes up and it becomes more difficult to then continue on job searching. And that's where people get stuck. So my little bit of advice today to job seekers is that even if things are going extremely well until you have that final offer, until it's signed and negotiated, that you continue on with your job search. It's a lot like dating. We don't stop dating just because things are seemingly going well for a month or two with someone that we're dating with, right? We continue going on dates so that we have options, right? There's going to be nothing better for you than when you do get to final stages and maybe you have three different offers lined up and then you're in the position to negotiate. You're in the, the um, power position, right? You're able to negotiate maybe more salary, maybe more perks, more bennies for yourself. So that's in a really, it's a really good place to be versus like, oh my God, yes, I'll take it. I'll take whatever you're going to be offering me because guess what? I've been waiting for this offer. No, we want to continue diversifying. We want to continue finding amazing companies. And the other thing that I often see is people have their idea of this dream company and how things are going to go well. They become obsessed with this one company because of their culture, the things they read about the, the recruiter, who it's their job to be um, a networker. It's their job to be charming and pleasing and make it appear as though um, you are gonna get the opportunity. It's their job to do that. So it's our job to, you know, see what our expectations are and manage those expectations, right? Manage expectations that, okay, the recruiter, it's their job to get me into this position. It's their job to make me intrigued and interested and to be charming and to hook me in as a candidate. That's their job. But when some, someone else comes along and the hiring managers tell that recruiter, okay, we're going with that person, guess what? 
then you get that rejection letter, then you get that sense of defeat, and that's not what I want from you. So what we're going to do is until everything is signed, sealed, and delivered, and you are starting your um, new job, you have your start date, and everything has been looked at and you're happy with everything, we do not stop our job search until that moment. So a little bit of tough love, but I literally want to shake people when they're like, oh yes, this is the dream job and they loved me and the phone calls went so well. I get it. I love you. And it's very easy to stop job searching because we don't want to be job searching in the first place. So let's not stop until there is a need to stop, which is your start date. Okay. So I hope this helps you guys and good luck.